Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Miss Necropon, or you can just call me Necropon. Today, we're gonna be talking about Uma News 33, which is gonna be for September 2023. Today, we've got a lot of spoopy news coming, so I hope you are holding on to your spoopy seats, and we're gonna get right into it. Before we start, don't forget to follow me on Twitch if you wanna watch me play Uma Musume or other games, or sometimes I draw too. But yeah, uh, don't forget to follow me on YouTube as well, so let's get started. So, first of all, for the broadcast rewards, we're gonna have 150 jewels, 10,000 support points, 30 alarm clocks, 10,000 money, and 10 uh, motivational suites. That's gonna be coming into your mailbox. If it's not there already, it will be there very, very soon. So, congratulations for free stuff, guys. Let's go. So, the first character we're gonna be having for Halloween is gonna be Air Shocker, and this could be a three star Belphicor's Prime. Now, look at how amazing she is looking here. We have some dark, spoopy stuff this time. We're not gonna, we're not gonna get some cutesy little, you know, maid nurse fairy girl Halloween costumes. We are getting, we're gonna get some dark stuff today, and I am all for it. So, today we have Air Shocker, and look at those horns. She got, you know what? Forget just the ears. We also got horns. We got like four things going on in the head here. We got this purple theme going on with the black, lots of metal, lots of chains. Like she is looking badass here. And like these tiny little wings, let's go, come on. She's super cool. If you're a fan of Air Shocker, you're, of course you're going to love this. Personally, I don't uh, know much about her, but I think this looks really awesome. So I would love to have this for Halloween. Her kit here is going to be good in turf, in medium and long races, along with the strategy of betweener and chaser. The growth bonuses is 14 stamina and eight in power, along with eight with wisdom as well. And let's take a look at her kit here as well on the right side. So this could be her awakening skills at level three for the gold one, which she's gonna get stamina greed and you'll be able to upgrade that into a pink skill. And then for level five, she will get intrinsic experience, which is also a great long distance skill that can also be upgraded to a pink skill as well. Let's dive down into her unique skill for a moment here. The Halloween alt here is called Found You. How dark is that? It's kind of juicy sounding. What it's going to do is going to increase your speed if you try to overtake someone in the latter part of the final corner uh, during the final leg. So if you were overtaken by someone in the middle of the pack during the middle leg, the speed will increase much more, like significantly. It sounds kind of like a revenge skill, like, oh, you you were overtaking me in the middle? Then I'm gonna get you back. <laughs> and then let's take a look at the upgrade for intrinsic experience. It'll actually do a little bit more now. I'm not exactly sure how much it's going to do, but it's going to change the amount of time that you're gonna speed up for when you're running in the inner fence on the final corner during long distance. Are you guys ready for the next character? We always come with two characters when we have alts. So the next one is gonna be another dark, spoopy character. Can you guess who it is? It's Chris S! Oh my god, Simply Chris S looks amazing here. This is three star Jet Black Automaton. Okay, okay, I know Wednesday Adams does not exactly dress like this, but does she not have the Wednesday Adams vibe? Just look at her dress, it's spooky, it's a little gothy, it's got the ribbons all over it. She looks like she's going to beat you up if you look at her wrong. She doesn't have her signature weapon with her, but she looks like she could still kill you. Now let's take a look at her kit. So she's gonna be running turf. She's also a medium to long distance racer. She's a leader or betweener racer. Her support boons are gonna be 15% in speed and 15% in power. She seems like to be like a pretty good medium distance betweener. And let's also take a look at her awakening skills on the right side here. So at level three for the gold skill, we're gonna have burning spirit and then can evolve to burn down, which is quite nice. And then of course, five level five here is this is switch up pro a very popular a very good skill for betweeners an excel skill um, and this one can also evolve to service transit where are we service transiting to are we being transported all the way to the finish line let's find out let's take a look at immortal work so this is the unique that chris as has this one is if you're in the middle of the pack in the middle of the race your speed is gonna increase on the final straight. If it is a Nakayama race, and it's also a medium distance race, then your speed will increase a lot, like amazingly, lots of speed. 
So when we're talking about middle of the pack, in a nine person race, like in CM or something like that, that's gonna be placement four through seven. And especially in a Nakayama racetrack, this this unique is just gonna go zoom zoom. So maybe she will be a really good option specifically for the Nakayama racetrack. So Burndown is going to lightly recover your stamina. It's also going to increase your speed significantly and also increase the speed of your team members if you compete in the middle of the pack during the middle of the race. So that's gonna help the people around you, which is kind of unique, right? Hopefully this will be really good. We'll have to see it in play. Now, are you excited to take a look at the gacha cards? New support cards are coming in and they are also spoopy themed. Let's take a look right now. The first one, we finally have a Tap Dance City card. You know what this means though? This means that we can finally get Scenario Link in the new scenario. So I don't know exactly what her, like, you know, what skill she's gonna give us, but now we'll finally figure it out and it might be super good or super bad. We don't know, but we will find out that at least the option is finally going to be available. So it looks like Tap Dance City here is being um, a bard, a, a troubadour, a bard, like playing in a pub and people are watching her. She's not tap dancing, but she is playing music. Let's take a look at her card here. We have Tap Dance City and the Unique is going to be able to gain five training bonus per skill that increases speed that you've learned. So up to three skills. We've seen something similar to this before. Her kit over here is gonna give you a lot of runner or escape strategy skills. And her golds are gonna be very helpful for runners as well. Let's take a look at her passives here because this is where gonna be the real juicy stuff is going to be. So we have Friendship bonus, motivation bonus, initial guts up, initial gauge up, so this is gonna be your friend gauge, race bonus, fan count bonus, specialty rate up, and skill point bonus. This looks pretty nice. I will just point out that uh, the scenario link might be good, but this card, it's perhaps I have pretty low bonuses and there's no hint bonus either. So if you're gonna be getting those skills, they're gonna be pretty expensive to purchase. So be aware of that. Overall, I would still be careful with this card. Take a look at it first. I don't think it's gonna be like super meta by any means, but this card does look pretty cool right now. Let's see what the scenario link is and let's move on to the next card. Next, we have a really cool looking Gimlet card. Oh my gosh, they have all the characters in here. So I'm guessing these are gonna be all the characters in the new story event, which we will talk about in just a moment. But let's take a look at the card over here. So this is going to be a Gimlet Stamina card. The unique bonus for this card over here is going to be able to let you to gain two Guts bonus if the Bond Gauge is 80 or higher. Also, let's take a look at the skills over here. This looks like a pretty darn decent Medium Distance Chaser card. It has a lot of really good skills here, especially for Chaser over here. We have Straight Shot, which is ever so popular. We also have the gold skill here as elation, so that's good. Let's take a look at the passives over on the right side. Okay, so for the passives, we have friendship bonus, we have motivation bonus, training result bonus, so this is the increased training bonus. We have initial gauge up, so this is the friendship bond, race bonus, fan count bonus, hint level up, hint appearance rate up, specialty rate, and also skill point bonus. So this actually looks like a pretty good card in my opinion. It does have pretty low friendship bonus to be honest, 20%, but does have all three of the training bonuses, which is pretty darn nice. It also has 10 race bonus, which is gonna nab you some more extra stats. So overall, I think this card actually looks pretty good. Think that this would be one of the better stamina cards that we have right now, um, especially with the two guts bonuses. But yeah, those are the two cards so for the story event, we're also having a spoopy one, of course. This is Halloween after all. We're gonna be putting together some farewells in a way of the theater. Gimlet wanted everyone to put on a play. So we're gonna all put on a play. That's why there's so many costumes going on. We're gonna be talking about the tragic tales of goodbyes on Halloween night. We're gonna be expressing the sorrows of partying in this event. Hopefully it'll be a fun one. And of course, all the banners are gonna come at the same time. This is happening on September 29th. And of course, just like with any story event, it's gonna come with a free card that you can get. This is gonna be the free card SSR Hello My Clover Fine Motion. This card is gonna be free and you're gonna be able to max limit break it. So don't forget to do that and don't miss your chance to get this card for Halloween for free. 
This is a speed find motion and the unique on the left side over here is going to get you some training bonus when your bond gauge is 80 or higher. So the skills that she have are going to be for mile and leaders and the gold here is for leaders. It's a recovery skill called calm and composed. Um, this card itself doesn't seem too amazing but it is a free card after all so I will still recommend you to get it. The passives on the right side over here, I'm just going to skim through very, very quickly. We have friendship bonus, motivation bonus, speed bonus one. We have initial speed up. We have initial gauge up, race bonus, fan count bonus, and also specialty rate up. It has very, very low uh, friendship bonus as well as specialty rate. Um, the 10 race bonus is not bad, but overall this card is nothing to be too impressed with, especially if you already have the int find motion and is still finding it useful for your deck you would definitely not use this instead of that card. Now that all the spoopy stuff is over, let's move on and talk about more stuff that are coming. This is called the Twinkle Collection Banner. Just like the banner we have currently with the eight characters, this is going to be another different eight characters they can have in a banner. And what's nice about these banners is that these are the only three stars that will show up in these banners. So you're not going to get spooked by a random off rate character. So if you don't have a lot of these characters already in these banners, it is a good chance for you to get the ones you are missing. Now, to be fair, these characters are all going to be characters that have shown up before. So this is for catching up. Like if you never got Christmas Ogre before, you really, really want her because she's great in PvP, then yeah, definitely get it. It's coming on October 2nd and the characters that are going to be in it is going to be Christmas Oguri, Original Seiyun Sky, Festival Tamamo, Valentine Asian Flash, Sweet Tosho, Zeno Rob Roy, Tozen Jordan, and Summer Dober. A lot of these are fantastic ones so if you don't have a lot of these yet this will be a good chance to get those umas that you're missing. For me I would really love to get Summer Dober or even Sweet Tosho since it's only two out of eight I might just skip but for you hopefully you'll have good luck if you decide to roll on this and we're gonna have new evolution skills for them now these four characters as you can see here are gonna be the same ones that are showing up in the twinkle collection banner that i just showed you a little bit ago so it's a good chance to grab them if you're like whoa these evolution skills are super duper cool you know so for saiyan sky the new evolution skill is gonna let you be able to recover stamina in the middle leg for medium races for asian flash the new evolution skill is going to be able to help you recover stamina in the middle leg also for sweet tosho the evolution skill will let you increase speed for a while in the final leg and finally for zenil rob roy um, as a leader will let you increase speed and slightly recover some stamina if you're in the front during the middle leg. Next up, we also have another Tachyon event coming in. So we're going to get a chance to upgrade our factors again. This one's super important as a side event. So don't forget to do this. It's awesome for making parents. And that's coming mid-October. If you're like me and you're into the anime, season three is coming soon. Very, very soon on October 5th. The third season is going to be featuring Kita-san and Satono Diamond. I'm super excited for this. We're getting 500 jewels for free for the um, opening, the launch of this series. We're going to be checking it out on Discord when it releases. So if you're interested in checking out with us, go ahead and come to our Discord and take a look. The links will be down below. We're also going to be able to do some friendship point exchanges for Umas that are going to show up in the anime. It doesn't say exactly who is going to be in there yet. So we will know once we start watching it or they release it into the store in the game. So next up, we have a new opportunity for people that want to spend a little bit of money on Uma Musume. You'll be able to purchase a ticket for three stars or SSR. The, all the selection is going to be up to the characters that are released on October 5th. So I believe the, I believe the characters for the Halloween ones are going to be in there as well for this year. Don't quote me on that, but it does sound like that they are going to be in there. So if you are interested in those Halloween characters, but you don't want to do gotcha, Maybe this is the way to go. Next up, we have another gacha banner. This is a paid banner for all the characters that show up from the first season of the anime. So they're really trying to push you towards the anime, being like, remember all these cool characters? Please come do gacha on them. And you're guaranteed a three star or SSR, depending on which banner you choose. It is guaranteed that you'll get at least one rainbow. So 
if you want to pay for this, you can and maybe make some memories again in your head, some nostalgia from the previous two seasons before you start watching the third season. Next up, we also have a G1 Fall campaign where we can get some free monies. So on these dates, October 1st, 9th, 15th, and 22nd, we'll be getting 50,000 money on each of those days to celebrate Sprinter Stakes, Mile CS, Shuka Show, and Kika Show. Along with those celebrations, we'll also be getting new missions for them so that we can have chances to earn more jewels. And of course, with fall, we're going to be having a new Peace Chase event. So that means you're going to get those little shards for the characters. And after you collect it, enough shards, you can get the character. But during these events, you get a very small amount of them. But it's better than nothing. So let's try our best to do so. So from October 14th to the 16th, you're going to be able to get the original Mejiro Dober pieces. And from October 21st, oh, that's my birthday. So from October 21st to the 23rd, we're going to be able to get the Natural Brilliance Satono Diamond pieces. In the new Lark scenario, we're not going to be able to do the Mile CS or Sprinter Stakes. So instead of making us do those races for the pieces, we're actually going to get them through missions instead for the Hishi Akebono and Kobano Riki's pieces. So I'm so glad they thought about that. They're like, everyone's playing Lark right now, but they're not going to be able to do these races. So let's just give it to them in a different way. And I'm glad they have this forward thinking so we're not forced to play like other modes to like try and get these pieces. So yeah, I'm, I really appreciate that. Next up, the next legend race is going to be Kito-san and Sadono Diamond. <laughs> this is so cute that they're putting them together for this. It's going to be a Kika show. So that means it's going to be on turf in Kyoto in October. Uh, is long distance at 3,000 meters. And to celebrate the campaign for season 3, um, when you get those pieces in one race, you're going to get three more pieces. So getting you extra pieces for these wonderful characters. Next up, have you been training for Champions Meeting yet? Champions Meeting's Classic is coming up on October 13th. That's coming up in just two weeks. Hopefully, you'll be ready for it. You can start entering your league on October 10th. And because the month after will be League of Heroes as they alternate, League of Heroes is coming up in November. For the November one, League of Heroes is going to be in Kyoto. The race course is going to be a turf one on mile 1600 meters. It's going to be having right turns and in autumn. Finally, Finally, the last three pieces of information are going to be about the figurines that are coming out. So I'm super excited to see Rice Shower come out. So the statue is by Alter, one of my favorite figurine manufacturers. They always do amazing work. So I'm so glad Rice Shower got picked up by them. This is going to be a super amazing. You can pre-order it right now from the Size Store or Ami or Tom. Like any major Japanese figurine distributors will have it. It's a 1-7 scale Rice Shower and it's going to be released in July. <laughs> July of next year. Yeah, it takes a while. But okay, the other two. So the next one is Nice Nature, also a 1-7 scale by Fat Company. Fat Company is great. They have high quality figurines as well, but they're usually more on the pricey side, which you can see it's a, quite a bit more compared to Rice Shower. Rice Shower was 21,000 and Nice Nature is 27,000 and she'll be coming out in August. Um, but yeah, she'll be able to be pre-ordered, I believe now until end of November. And it looks like the shops that you can get it our size store um, at good smell online store we have amazon and ami ami of course other stores as well if they pick it up the next and final figurine that we can get are shf figure art so these are the ones that have joints and you can like pose them however you want so i guess this is for in celebration of season three but satono diamond and kita san black are both going to be available for 93.50 yen each and it looks like they're going to be awesome okay okay so Diamond apparently is coming in March next year and Kita Sound Black is going to be coming out in February of next year. So don't forget to order these or pre-order these if you are interested in them. And with that all said, thank you everyone for joining me today. Again, don't forget to follow me on Twitch if you want to watch me play Uma Musume. I'm doing that UE grind right now. Hopefully one of these days I'll get to UD. I also play other games and I also do art on my Twitch, so I would highly, highly appreciate it if you come follow me over there. The links are down below. And with that all said, I hope you all have a wonderful and spoopy Halloween season. And I'll see you all in the next one. Happy racing!